Hello guys, welcome to the 102nd day of second grade. It's Miss Bland jumping on to go over today's lesson. I hope you are doing well and having a great day. Remember our station celebration. This was as of today's Wednesday. This was as of Monday afternoon. So if your name is not here, it will be updated tomorrow. But this was as of Monday afternoon. We have until Sunday, but guys, your weekend is your weekend. So try to go ahead and get your iStation finished before Friday. Virtual rules have not changed. Remember, they are a little different for you guys. And my biggest one is to find a space that might not be beside brother while he's playing a video game or maybe while sister's watching something you love on TV. Your grammar review for today. We are talking this week about first box, commas. When we use commas in a series, we separate the things we are talking about. So Hannah takes dance, piano, and art lessons. They're not one thing. There's no dance, piano, art lesson. They are three different events and commas help us see that. Be sure to include your green commas. Our second box talked about the suffix ly, and ly tells us how we do it. And our root word was slow. So I want you to think of something that you do slowly. What's something you do slowly? Box number three talks about our vowel sounds, and it wants three words that have the same vowel sound as lump. Let me know three words that have a short U, uh, uh, uh. Tell me the three short you words. What's three words? You got three words? All right, look at the last box. The last box is a little different. It talks about that singular and plural. And we talked about words that are singular and words that are plural <clears throat> quite a bit. But what we don't always talk about is how there is a difference when the word ends in S, S, H, CH and X up until this week. This hit at the perfect time because we are talking about that in our spelling words as well. And when it does, instead of just adding S to the word, you need to add ES. So look at my three words, dishes, boxes, and wishes. I added ES to each of those words to show what was needed. Make sure you do the same. Oh. 
Pause here to make sure you have completed all four boxes. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about our letter land words. Look at your words for this week. Say each word two times. First word, babies, babies. Second word, places, places. Hurries, hurries, freezes, freezes, reaches, reaches, pages, pages, wishes, wishes, stories, stories, catches, Catches, tries, tries, cities, cities, fixes, fixes. Now, you're going to use your spelling words to create four sentences. Sentence number one, Ms. Bland did is the model example. I use the word fixes. The man at the bike store fixes the tire on my bike. You are to use the word pages, wishes, catches, and tries to write four additional sentences for these words. Pause here to complete or complete on the end. All right, for English language arts, you're back. That means either your spelling sentences are finished or you're doing yours on the end. We're still reading our amazing story in unit three, week five, about PS22 and their awesome chorus. But we have eight words that we are seeing in our story this week. They are cheered. Look at that little boy. He's definitely excited. A concert, an instrument, movements, music, rhythm, sounds, and understand. Our text this week is expository, which means we're gonna learn real facts about a real topic. There's gonna be real photographs and pictures, and it's gonna include captions and labels. Our question for the day was, how do you express yourself? We talked about that in our writing yesterday. So make sure you reread 246 and 247, 248 and 249. Then I want you to answer your questions. In your packet, it says Wednesday at the top and there's the questions there. I want you to try those questions without me. The boys and girls this morning gave it a shot too. Let's see what you can do. Pause here to complete. All right, you're back, which means you gave your questions a try. Let's see. We started off our questions and I gave some helpful answers and sentence starters. Use these to review your questions and answers and see if there's anything you want to add or change. Then we wrote about our favorite song. Oh my gosh, how awesome. I learned all kinds of really cool songs this morning that I hadn't always known. So what's your favorite song? You're gonna put it on the line. You're gonna tell me the first reason it's your favorite. Then you're gonna tell me another reason it's your favorite. And in that last box, 
You're gonna tell me what you do when you hear that song. Do you dance around in your underwear? Do you just have to get up and snap your fingers? What do you do when you hear it? That's my third box. Now for my concluding sentence, I'm gonna give a strong adjective, a describing word that tells me how that song is. It could be amazing. It could be cool. It could be awesome. It could be wonderful. You choose. Pause here to complete your writing or complete on the end. Make sure you get that concluding sense if you're planning to complete on the end. Our two vocabulary words for today are sound and understand. You are to write the words on the line. You are to write a sentence using each of those words. And then draw me a cute picture. Check out my cat. He is really, really sideways. But the boys and girls this morning said I tried. <laughs> Our skill for this week has been prefixes. We've been talking about those prefixes we put at the beginning of a root word to tell us the meaning. We've been dealing with three. Un, which means not or the opposite of. Re, which means to do it again. And dis, which means the opposite of. So Ms. Bland started off by helping the boys and girls this morning do the first six. And their responsibility is to finish seven through 12. So you will have the same. So we went through and did one through six. Number one, mom will unwrap the gift that I will give her for her birthday. We, don't, we talked about saying rewrap, but that would mean she'd wrap it back up. And it's her birthday, so we didn't think that would work. And then diswrap, um, well, we just never heard anybody say diswrap. So we didn't think that was it either. So try all three prefixes and choose the one that fits best in front of the word to complete seven through 12. Make sure you put the answers for one through six as well. All right, it's math time. Math today is taking what we did on yesterday one step further. So we're gonna relate our use of manipulatives to something we can see in with numbers. Let's watch and find out. So this was our review question and the boys and girls this morning helped me out. It said Barb had a bag of 34 cherries. She ate 17 for a snack. How many does she have left? So we drew our 34, realized that we just couldn't make, we couldn't take seven out of four. So we broke apart a 10 and then we were able to find our answer, which was 17. <clears throat> so in your packet, your math page looks like mine. And what we're going to do is we're gonna talk about how that page works. What's happening, what's, oh, you've got to be kidding me. 